Comic-Con is kicking off in San Diego, but it's going to look a little different this year. Fans travel from all over the country to see their favorite actors and writers at the San Diego Convention Center. But this year, strikes by members of the Writers Guild of America and the Actors Union, SAG-AFTRA, will prevent some from participating. Some, but not everyone. That's true. Comic book writer Mark Evinger, who's hosting more than a dozen panels at the event, can shed a little bit more on what to expect. Mark, thanks so much for being here. I know you're not only known for your writing career, but Comic-Con fans also know you as a very prolific panel host. How are things looking different this year for you because of the strikes? Uh, absolutely unchanged. Um, I think the effect of the Writers Guild and SAG after strikes are on the convention will be minimal. There are people who love coming here to see previews of the new movies and they'll see the stars plugging them. Those people will be disappointed. But you know that they, they go to Hall H, which seats about 6,000 people. Uh, 140,000 people are going to pass through this convention over the next four days. And obviously, a lot of those people would never go near Hall H. They're here because we have comic book writers and comic book artists and cartoonists and people who do video games. And an awful lot of this convention has nothing to do with movies and TV. Um, Variety and the I mean, Hollywood Reporter, the trade papers made a big issue out of this because that's the only part of the convention that really interests them. For most of us, it's about comics and cartoons and funny things like that. Yeah, there is so much that goes on there, and that's a good reminder. But we have heard from some fans who are a little disappointed. Maybe they've come a long way to see their favorite uh, actor or character from a show. In your blog, you wrote that this is your fifth WGA strike. Can you talk a little bit about how you get through them, and does this one feel different from the others? Uh, this one feels different because we have issues that have never come up before. The whole thing about artificial intelligence um, it's, it, it's unprecedented. In past negotiations, we were mostly talking about residuals, dollar figures. Here we have a whole new concept for the future that no one has really thought through and no one really knows where it's going. So it's very complicated. For myself, I get through these strikes by not making all of my income from writing TV or movies. I write comic books, I write cartoon shows that aren't covered by the writer's guild, unfortunately. But during the strike, it's nice that I'm writing them because I can still keep doing them. Like in everything in life, a little diversity is a good mm -hmm. thing. Uh, we know you host several panels every year with cartoon voice actors. Is that still going to happen? Because I know that's a big deal, especially for some kids. Well, the, every one of those panels is happening exactly as it was going to. SAG after operates under a lot of different contracts. The main one is expired, but the one that most cartoon voices are done under is not expired. Those people are not on strike. They are going to be a little cautious about plugging current shows they're doing. They'll be a little reticent to mention them. But usually they're under what they call NDAs anyway. They're, they're, there's no strike. They can't talk about the current shows because the studios haven't announced them yet. So I don't think the panels will be much different. The panelists will not be any different than the ones we planned months ago to have on. Um, I, I, you know, the, the uh, Hollywood Reporter said that this whole lack of actors at the, at the uh, uh, convention was, they called it an existential threat to the convention. The convention sold out months ago. Nobody is not using their tickets that they bought. They're all thrilled to be here. Uh, tomorrow, if the tickets went on sale for t t next year, they'd sell out in 45 minutes again. Uh, I don't think the difference is going to matter to most people. Well, Mark, I think that's uh, something many, many people, I know even including here at KCAL News, people very happy to hear. They're planning, uh, still have their plans to go down. So I hope you have a great time and thanks for joining us. I'm gladly, anytime.